Let's stay with Parliament because Defence Minister Dominic Nitiwul has also cautioned the minority against labelling the clerks. His caution follows comments by Minority Chief Rip Muntaka Mubarak to the effect that the partisan behaviour of the clerks won't be tolerated. He charged the clerks to sit up and immediately rectify suspected errors. It is true that people may have their party affiliations, but what we expect from them is fairness and accurate reporting. This partisan behavior we will not tolerate. It is deliberate and it was intended for a purpose. And that purpose, Mr. Speaker, unfortunately, has been achieved out there because you go around all the radio stations and TV stations, all they are discussing is the vote and proceedings and lambasting our members unfairly. And Mr. Speaker, it has led to almost a crisis within our focus. A special one it was not corrected yesterday because members felt that leadership had become inert, insensitive to their plight. And now they are facing the wrath of their consensus unjustifiably when truly they were asked to come to the house. Some of them were here long before even we started sitting. And yet this has happened and unfortunately has not been corrected. Mr. Speaker, yes, it is nowhere in our standard orders that our standard order provides that votes and producing, uh, proceedings, corrections will be made. And Mr. Speaker, the sad thing is that when these massive corrections are done, it is not going to reflect in the eyes of the public, it's not on the document. Any day anybody picks this vote and proceedings, it is this error that they will be seeing. The corrections will only go into the official uh, record, but it will not be in this vote and proceedings. And unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, you know how our constituents and these country people behave. They take the first news and they run with it. Later, when corrections are made, they don't give a dime and they will use it. And uh, some people have started already in some of our police consequences. Mr. Speaker, I think that this is unfair, it is unjust, and the clerk must sit up. Because knowing the day and the difficulty of that day, you should have been interested yourself personally going through to make sure that everything was captured properly. But unfortunately, you failed to do that and you failed this house. And now you have failed our colleagues and members of parliament whose names are not being bandied around as people who have been absent. Mr. Speaker, this is very hurting. Absent. And our, our, our preference will have been this vote and proceedings to be reproduced, to reflect the actual, so that the records people who have the copies will have the proper copy. But obviously, this is not pro provided for in the standard orders. But Mr. Speaker, we are living and we are very hurt and very, very disappointed in the clerk at table, the deputy clerk and the clerk.